I take it you saw your mother. Boy, I'll tell you, nothing gets by you, does it, Dad? Pop! Daddy-o! You know, none of that quite rings true in my ear anymore. We're gonna have to come up with a new name for you. That's fine. Let's do it someplace where we can have a little privacy. Okay? No. No, we'll just stay right here. Thank you very much. What are you talking about? This is banner news. I want the whole world to know about this. I might even take out front page in tomorrow morning's edition. What the hell would I call it, though? I need some sort of a title here. Come on, Mason, you're witty with words. Help me out here, will you? Providence got me into trouble. Well, I'm glad you two to sort this through. Don't leave, please. I saw my mother today. How is she? She's in a... She's not bad, given the circumstances. A little thin. A little pale, disheveled. But, considering what she's been through the past year... How do you blame her? And I found out why. Would you like to do this or shall I? You go ahead. Isn't it funny the way things happen in threes? I got a sequence of threes that can knock your socks off. One, I asked Cassandra to come to Singapore to meet me there. Of course, that's when I found out we were blood-related. Kind of a shocker, huh? When my mother was there. She realized that we were star-crossed lovers. Which, of course, sent her straight into the toilet. Combination of booze and guilt was her destruction. Every time I asked her why, she would just cry and throw up. Why? We all tried to get her to stop drinking. Well, that sounds funny coming from the man that stiffed her into the booze to begin with. Which leads me to my second point. It was right about in this period that you began separating yourself from my mother. Your mother told you why? She told me. Now, don't add things into my damn story here. You confuse me. I lose my place. No pun intended. This is none of my business. None of your business, Mason. Come on. Now, when have you ever passed up the urge to stick your big schnoz into Lockridge family business? It's your bread and butter, kid. Which is a nice, cool segue into point number three. And how many guesses do we get? I'll bet you can name this tune in three notes. Who knew that Cassie and I were lovers? Who smeared our noses in it? Who opened our wounds and poured salt in it? Give up yet? As one who's been there, you're a bit the worse for all the liquor, Warren. Really? Mm -hmm. And do you think you've been where I've been tonight? I don't think so. Let me be your tour guide. Warren, what happened with your mother? She didn't say much. But what she did say was the truth. She told me the truth. You get it yet, Mason? There are no tricky answers here. No snappy phrases, no Shakespeare. Even Shakespeare was wrong. You know what Shakespeare said? He said it's not the wise father that knows his child. But it's the child that knows his father. Which doesn't give a lot of credit for my intelligence, does it? Because I don't know who my father is. Because this man standing in front of me is not my father. He's an imposter, he's a facsimile, but he is not, he is not my father. Damn you!